In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can project our uh, shape files into Google Earth from ArcGIS. All right, so let's open a file that we have recently made. So let's go to map tracing. And this is the boundary of Shonargao that we have made in the previous section. So I want to project it in Google Earth. So first, let's open up our Google Earth. I'm using Google Earth Pro. okay so it is here now a thing we need to know that you cannot project shape files directly into google earth google earth will only read uh, file types of dot km kmz so what we need to do is we're going to convert this file type from shp to kml to do that we're going to open our toolbox and i had already used it there we go so when you open your toolbox it's going to be like that then from there we'll go to conversion tools click on the plus icon to open the conversion tool from the conversion tool we're going to go to 2kml because we have to convert it to kml so click on the plus icon here we go so we have two options layer to kml and map to kml since our shape file is a layer here so we're going to go to layer to kml do a double click on it there you go the layer to kml uh, conversion tool will pop up and here you can read the layer to kml tools uh, objective so it says this tool converts a feature or raster layer into a kml file containing a translation of esri geometries and symbology this file is compressed using zip compression has a .kmz extension that can be read by any KML client including ArcGIS Earth, ArcGlobe and Google Earth. Now I hope you got the point. So from layer we're going to take our layer that is boundary. There you go it's called boundary. Now we have to select our output file where the output is going to be. So here I have a file ready called the KML. Here I'll be storing all of my KML files and now we're have going to have to name it. Let's call it Shonargao boundary. Now save that file there. Got it. Give a save again. There we go. Uh, the output may have some errors, but I'm going to try it anyway to save it at that location. Since I am using an external hard disk, sometimes this kind of problems will arise if you are if you use an external hard disk uh, like I'm using. So let's click on OK and see. Uh, so it's not going to take it. So let's replace the location and go with the Indo Park with population location. Give the file name. I'm just giving it an S. Do a save. It says. You don't have permission to modify cut it do a save again it seems it's not going to take it here as well so what i can do is i can go to desktop from desktop i'll go to a file here let's give it a name click on save there we go it has taken it now click on ok for the conversion to work and as you can see the conversion is happening and always remember that we have to keep our coordinates into WGS 1984. So layer 2 KML has been done. Now we go to Google Earth. From there you're going to go to file. From there you click on open. Now you just need to find the location where you have saved it. Uh, I'm not going to the location where I, I have just saved it in for you. I'm going to open one that I have done previously. Okay so let's just click on OK. The files are same. I'll click on open. And as you can see, our shape file is now projected on Google Earth. Okay, now you can move around using these tools. There we go. Okay, here we go. So we have the shape file opened here, projected here. There we go. Ah, there we go. Now, if you uncheck the small box, the projection will go away and you will be looking at the Google Earth image of Earth. And if you check the box back on, the shape file is going to be projected here. Now that the, we have the shape file here, what we can do is we can uh, make point shape files. Okay, 
for to know where what is and then we can uh, again convert that file to a shape file and reopen in GIS so in the next video I'm going to show you how you can make shape files using Google Earth Pro and then open them in GIS so that was about it for this video I hope this video was helpful for you and you got to learn something new and as always thank you very much for watching if you have found the video to be useful, please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one. Thank you.